gonna show you how I build my garden beds. I mentioned in that video that I've been using a method that Julie from Third Patch Heaven has been using for years. And it's a combination of Stand Up and Garden, which is a book that I'll link down below, and Hugo Culture, which is another method that is a German method that I've also been using. I'll have some books also about them down below if you want to read them or if you want to try to find them in your local library. I was so excited that I told my librarian and she decided to purchase books about Hugo culture. So it's pretty cool. I can't stop reading them. And today I'm going to show you how I built those beds. So this is a Hugo culture bed, kind of, mostly based on that. Um, the idea of Hugo culture is basically doing it on the ground, making hills. You can read about it. I'll leave the book in the description box down below. But this thing, garden bed, I got it, the idea from Stand Up and Garden. It's three feet tall. And I need to fill it with wood, leaves, grass clipping, basically a giant compost pile. you all right stay there then was this a nice house for you I bet it was I'm sorry I'll leave some for you trying to cover all this hole so we can uh, put the leaves on top it seems like it's full but it's not I'm gonna try to get some more from that tree Need a bunch of bunny poop here, and we'll be good. So now I put a little bit of my compost, I shred the paper bags that I get from the grocery store and I mix them with the food scraps so they don't smell while they're in the kitchen and I just put them all around. Now I'm gonna make bunny tea, muddy manure tea and put it on top. That is gonna heat up and it's gonna start the breaking down process and it's gonna start to sink. I love you. Okay, beautiful boy got mad and he decided to go hide. But you're a beautiful girl. Yeah, yeah. Aren't you the cutest girl I've ever seen in my life? You're the cutest grandma. Are you tired? You've been working all morning? She's been working, Madi.
And so now we wait. This is going to start to sink. Pay attention to this. It's going to start to go down. And because of the rapid manure, it's going to slowly start to heat up everything and decompose it faster than it would by itself. And then I'm going to put about four or six inches of soil and I can plant on top. It will stay always wet because of the wet wood underneath that retains the water. It will stay warm during the fall because it's going to be heated up by the manure that I will continue to charge every month and a half or so and I can always put some covers if I need to help it stay away from the cold, cold weather that could kill plants. I already planted some things here. This four are lettuce and I need to water them. This one too, this one's too, this one's too. But I, I, I thought that was a weed and I picked it and it was a lettuce. So I have to do that. This is a cauliflower, cauliflower, cauliflower. And I had somewhere here well, this is a spinach, and that is some broccoli, the one broccoli. So I still have like one, two, three, six, nine square feet, and I can use this other one for to kind of put more, what's it called, uh, spinach. And as you can see, it's kind of taller above the line, but this is going to go down. Remember, we're doing kind of a mixture of the horticulture system with the stand up and garden. So this, as it starts to break down, and this is really old wood, it's it's gonna start to sink.